Hey, this is the Money Man, Eddie Money, watching Jiggy Jack TV. Well, go ahead and give us a brief introduction on yourself, my friend. Um, I'm Richard Davies. I'm an artist. I've been painting since I was 16. Uh, I'm 55 now, so you do the math. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, originally going to go to Chicago Arts Institute uh, straight out of uh, high school at the age of 16, uh, but they didn't have dorms, so I had to go to Wichita State University. Yeah. Uh, even though I had a full ride to Chicago Art Institute, I couldn't go, which is fine. Um, I went to Wichita State University where they taught theory, but not really how to paint, so I taught myself how to paint, and I did that by finding people who knew how, by contacting people in ateliers and asking them how to do this. And they taught me, and that's how I learned. I bought books. My favorite book of all times is the Art Forger's Handbook because it tells you in great detail how to paint uh, in many different techniques. It's awesome. Um, the art I do has been pretty much the same throughout my life. It's involved the idea of beauty and the idea that uh, all art has a certain feeling, an emotion, etc., and it's all governed by two things, composition and color. And if you have a great composition, you can get away with murder. <laughs> so if you can compose something that's, that's, uh, that's captivating, yeah. you win. You've already won. It doesn't matter if it's an abstract, if it's realistic like I paint, you've won. If you don't have that composition, you're going to push the viewer out of your painting and they're going to be repulsed and they're going to walk to the next painting. Okay, and that's the basic thing. So to me, I love skies and I love textures and I love juxtaposition of color and the feeling a painting has. And if a painting doesn't have a certain uh, feeling of, of hum humanity in the landscape, it doesn't work for me. I scrape it down, start over. Okay, and that can be, it doesn't matter if I'm painting an urban landscape or, or, or rural landscape or an urban landscape, even though it has human artifacts in it, it may seem to be devoid of humanity. So I want to have that humanity in there. So everything that I paint, I want people to look at and feel like they have some sort of attachment to it. Okay. Well, tell us about the uh, collection we have up here at the Hutchinson Art Center. Okay, the collection here is uh, largely uh, Kansas based. There are three paintings that are not of Kansas. There's two that are of the Côte d'Azur in France, and there's one of California coastline. All three of those were basically compositions assembled out of a variety of source materials. So I created the, the composition first, drew it out, and then painted it. Uh, the rest of them are essentially plein air studies or uh, started plein air studies finished in the studio or working from source materials in the studio as if plein air. Uh, and the idea is to capture stuff rapidly, accurately, and with that feeling the first time. Well tell us, uh, take us on a, a mini tour here, some of your um, okay. more important pieces. Uh, here's the California Coast piece. Uh, it is oil on linen. Uh, it's essentially uh, Northern California with a variety of areas that are from different parts of the coast. I just made up the skyline. I love to look at clouds, so I just made that up. It's on, uh, it's probably, uh, I'm trying to think of the dimensions here, it's probably around 42 by 36. And um, I tried to keep, make it still looked like it was quickly painted as if on site but because it's too large to really drag out to the countryside obviously it's not plain air and it's from various sources so it's not possible to do that I like it because its composition works very well now uh, what are some of the other more important pieces that you want people to, um, to know about I think here? over here we have the another piece that's not of Kansas it's in the uh, south of France. It's the Côte d'Azur. Essentially, this is what I call service entrance. Uh, what captured my eye was the trees up here. I love the trees, but the source material I had had some really ugly thing down here. So I used a really uh, a, a 
variety of different things to build a composition. So no, there's no area that's largely, you know, what you would, you could go somewhere and see that. Yeah. So uh, for me, it was all about composition, about creating a feeling of drawing in, of depth in the background, of riding through the trees, and having a circular composition. Well, you have some incredible, incredible art here. What, what is the one piece that took you the longest to, uh, to produce? Uh, I'd have to say it would be the California piece. Yeah. Okay. It took probably three weeks. Wow. Really? Mm -hmm. And that's working on it? Every day. Um, regular schedule mm -hmm. every day? Yes. Wow. It's, uh, and mainly because it, I went through a series of, of drawings. Yeah. And then colors, uh, color samples built up to decide what colors would work together. And once I'd worked everything out as to what it will look like eventually, then I drew it onto the linen, you know, with the brush, just drew it on, and then start blanking in stuff. I discovered problems at the larger scale. I didn't have to go back, work out the problems on drawing paper, and then once I did that, I would go back and fix things. And then That's I reached cool. where I needed to be, and it, was, yeah. it worked out. Well, the art is going to be on display here uh, till early August. I believe so. I'm not sure of the exact date. Uh, I think I can't tell you. I, I'd have to. Well, I, I can I can put that in later. Okay. Uh, well, I appreciate you making time for us today.